I'm Brian McCornack, Professor and Department Head for Entomology here at Kansas State University. I'm also chairing the Planning Committee for Annual Conference, which happens in the fall, which is right now. The committee has done a great job thinking through our reasoning for coming together. We've been living in a virtual world for nearly two years, and the committee and I have been talking for several months about how to best do this to create a safe space for people to come together, to share their ideas, to share their innovations from this past year, to do it safely in this pandemic world that we live in. And we've come up with a tremendous lineup for you this October. You can find the full agenda of the conference on the website. Be sure to register by Friday, October 1st. There's a pre-conference session on Monday starting at 1 o'clock for us all, creating thriving, healthy communities. Tuesday, there's a federal benefits and state benefits update in the morning, followed by several association meetings in the afternoon, and a special retirees tour of the Hell Library updates, leading into the social starting at 530 so Tuesday is the social out at the Agronomy North Farm at the New Education Center. We'll have some food truck options for you along with some tickets to be able to spend at those food trucks. We have us coming together, maybe even doing some yard games because it is a tailgate theme. Uh, coming to just enjoy each other's company. And Wednesday, leadership is going to kick us off, guide us in the right direction. And we're going to celebrate several of our members with the annual awards. And that's going to lead into our keynote speaker with Dr. Wendy Powers, followed by an hour session with Dr. Marty Draper and Greg Hadley talking about our World Cafe from 2019. There is a lot that's happened since we had that conversation at those round tables at the Alumni Center. A lot of those ideas thought would never happen, but in two weeks time happened because of a pandemic. This is really our opportunity to look at what do we say was important? Are those things still important? And where are we headed as an organization? And then that afternoon will be a strategic doing. So Jamie Menon and Debbie Kirchhoff will be facilitating a strategic doing session. This is focused on the doing part. So by the end of this session, the professional focus teams will have a plan over the next 30, sometimes 60 and 90 days to come together and work on this envisioning question that will be provided, but not just have it be a strategic plan that sits on a shelf. This is really learning how to facilitate a conversation like this, bringing that facilitation process into your PFTs, and then bringing those ideas to action is heavily, heavily focused on the action piece. How do you make that work? Well, come to the session on Wednesday and find out. And then Thursday, not gonna lie, it's my favorite day. We've done a, a similar type of innovation expo. We called it a share fair for our entomological society. I partnered with a really great colleague of mine from Iowa State, Dr. Aaron Hodson several years ago and we brought this into entomology space for extension and it was really kind of a back of a napkin idea. We just didn't get a lot out of going to a session and being kind of talked to about ideas. We wanted them to get their hands on the black knowledge, the, the technology. But, hold on. Hold on. Edit that out. We wanted them to get their hands on the technology. Show them how to maybe edit a scene like that. How to set up a camera. How to do some video like this in the middle of a field, talking to a camera, talking to another camera, learning how to edit this, learning how to best position a mic. And we're gonna also have some networking tables that's gonna allow you to connect with anybody. This is structured in a very different way. We'll be in the big union, we'll have tables spread out. We've got about 20 to five to 30 different innovators taking really small ideas, making them big and changing and having impacts on our program coming with your ideas, meeting with people who have tried some stuff, tried some technology, tried some approaches, and melding that together in one large ballroom where for two hours you get an opportunity to network, to engage, to ask questions, to provide, be that expert. Sit at a table, make a new connection, and share your ideas. We've heard time and time again that these annual conferences don't provide enough time to really network. This is your time. This is your time. That Thursday morning from 9 to 11, come prepared to engage for that two hour session. And then we'll end the day with the PFTs taking yet more of that energy into their focus areas and bringing that into the next year of programming. We are really, really excited. And I'm sure Dr. Minton is saying, how many, how many coffees did Brian have this morning? But we are super excited about this annual conference, realizing that we are still in a pandemic if we need to pivot, we'll make that decision within at least a week or two of the, of the conference. 
but knowing that we will make all this available online. The conference is happening one way or the other. Right now, it's planned for in-person, which is gonna be the best experience. If you signed up for hybrid, realize not all the sessions are gonna be available online because something like, like the Innovation Expo just really can't be experienced in that kind of way. But all the other sessions, right? There'll be a Zoom link, but really to engage, to be in person, to make those connections, we're really hoping you take the time to be with us on campus, and we look forward to seeing you in October.